Hey everyone, this is Scott with Steel Tech. Today I'm going to go over the software side of my home lab. So let's take a look. I am currently running Proxmox 7.4. I will be upgrading to 8.0 soon. I have Proxmox running on two B-Link Nooks with a Celeron J4125 CPU, 8 gigabytes of memory, and 64 gigabytes of storage space on each. I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. On the first node, Agent DVR is the VM that handles recording of my security cameras. Pi-hole is web filtering. Unify is the controller for my Unify access points and switches. WireGuard is my VPN to connect to my home network. Jellyfin is my media center. Postfix does internal email relay. And HideMe is a v VPN VM that I don't use very often. I have two iSCSI drives that are pulling from my NAS. Uh, Agent DVR and Jellyfin, that just gives me extra storage as these nodes only have 64 gigabytes of disk space. The NAS I have is a Synology DS220 Plus with two 3 terabyte Red Wolf disks inside. Okay, on to the second node. I do have a secondary pie hole. This is so I don't lose internet connection when I reboot the first node. They used to be mirrored. But there was an issue with an upgrade that broke that, so now they're separate. So if I update one, a whitelist or a blacklist or a new add list, I need to make sure that I update the second one as well. I did have a pie hole for my IoT devices. That has since been turned off. Now I just use a family safe DNS. At some point I probably will turn that back on to remove telemetry, but for now it is off. In editing I realize you've been staring at the same picture for a while, so this is an image that popped into my head. WireGuard Guest, this is a VPN for family to connect to give them secure internet when on a public Wi-Fi. If this is something that you do, you do have to make sure you trust who you give it to because they are using your internet connection. Also, this is for internet only. For my family, they do not get access to my internal network. And Vestor is just a VM I made when I was first building out Proxmox. Uh, it just has my investment applications on it, not used very often. Same thing I use as a central repository for some of my files. If you are not familiar with same thing, whatever computers or devices you install on it will give you a folder. Whatever you put in that folder, it will copy to all the other devices that have same thing installed. I also use this to grab from Jellyfin and grab the photos on my phone and my wife's phone and copy to the NAS uh, and also upload to the cloud. It's a nice system I have. It's all automated. I don't have to worry about anything. And that is my home lab. If you'd like to see anything in particular, just leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, that those will be future videos that I can make. This is a fairly short video, but nothing too exciting. The editing took a lot longer than I thought it would. So if you made it this far, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment down below. I survived this video. Also, my background will get better as well. I learned a lot making this. I'm excited about future videos. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you want to subscribe, I, I would be very grateful. And take care.